Shalom. Call Halal, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Bakakradash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who taught me this truth and rule well. Salutation and salutations to the brothers out there that are laboring and pushing this truth in truth and in sincerity and in charity, risking their lives and their freedom to do so. To you I say Shalom, to the Akim and to the Akwaf, that will be brothers and sisters, Adawan Ratazah, that is to say, Lord willing, hopefully by the end of this lesson, you'll be edified. This is your brother Amawan Ibad from the GMS Miami camp. Back again with another lesson to the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, to feed the lambs of Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, as commanded. And um, this lesson is going to be going into the heat, man. Okay? That, that tempest, that weather. You know, what we're in right now, I'm out washing some clothes, man, and I'm telling you, <laughs> it's super hot outside, okay? If you don't have no need to be on the outside, if you're not taking care of something or dealing with something that has to be done, you don't need to be out in this heat, man. It's very, very super hot. And that's, that's, that's what inspired this lesson, okay? All right, the, 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 the heat, man, okay? Which, you know, when it's too hot, it becomes a plague, okay? You know, that heat, when that heat become like fire, man, that's like a plague, man, okay? And um, I'm gonna get the definition of tempest, okay? Because the scriptures say how the Lord is gonna visit, you know, the earth with tempest, man. So this is the uh, online etymology of the word Tempest, okay. Um, it says uh, period of weather, okay. So it has to do with the weather, and right now it's like super, super, super hot, man. I'm telling you, I'm sweating. My face is shining. <laughs> you know, you feel the humidity. I got a lady walking with an umbrella in front of me. It's just super, super hot, man. If you don't have uh, no reason to be out, once again, watch your step. If you don't have no reason to be out, you know, out and about, try to stay out of the heat, man. It's super hot. Okay, once again, the etymology uh, for the word tempest, it's a period of weather. So it has to do with weather. It says bad weather. Okay, once again, it's like super hot, man. You know, now you have your times when you need the sunshine, you know. Okay, like plants need the sunshine. Humans need the sunshine, you know, but when it becomes uh, like if you're in it too long, too much, then you begin to cook. <laughs> you start to start to bake, man. <laughs> okay, if the if, if the temperature is turned up that hot, you know. But it says um, weather originally. It says um, it says. What's the word um, I was looking for? I saw another word. It says, um, there it is. Uh, uh, well, it says bad weather. Okay. It says, it says, okay, I, I, I see what happened. I actually just strolled down, I strolled down a little bit too low. So the beginning, it says violent storm. Okay, tempest, epidemic plague. That's the word I was looking for. It says epidemic plague. Okay, the tempest, man. See, it has to do with the weather. And right now it's super, 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 super hot. Okay, to the point where it could become a plague. So one of the, one of the, one of the, uh, one of the meanings is an is a epidemic plague. Okay, so yeah. It's super hot, man. And I want to get some scriptures. Okay, and Lord willing, by the end of this lesson, okay, Lord willing, you be edified. Okay. Um, this is the book of Isaiah. Isaiah, the 29th chapter, and the sixth verse. It says, Thou shalt be visited of the Lord of hosts with thunder and with earthquake and great noise and with storm 
and tempest which goes into weather tempest goes into weather man strong weather bad weather okay uh, 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 violent commotion that's in the, the one of the synonyms for the word tempest okay it says and the flame of devour, devouring fire so devouring fire has to do with tempest man now a lot of people die annually okay yearly on a yearly basis from the heat man people catching heat strokes people you know just drop dead from the heat man annually every year across the whole world okay so that heat that heat is not anything to joke with man when you hold in the heat you got to make sure that you have adequate uh water to drink that you're keeping yourself hydrated you don't want to be dehydrated in um very uh hot weather a lot of people faint and, uh, and conditions like that, man, okay? So, once again, if you don't have no reason to be out, man, if, you, if everything is taken care of, man, it better, it, better, it better you just stay at home and try to uh, uh, soak up some of the cooler weather by being in the shade, or if you're out and about trying to get under a tree, you know? You could be in the sun for as much as you can endure it, but uh, at the same time, yeah, man, you know, you have, you have younger folks, you have older folks, who, who not built to handle uh, certain conditions of heat, okay? So you have to keep that in mind, okay? You want to stay hydrated, all right? But know that we're living in a time where the earth is being visited, man, okay? So these things are going to come. It's going to get scorching hot, okay? Because these are some of the tempests the Lord says he's going to visit with. Let's read it again. Uh, um, Isaiah chapter 29 and verse 6 Thou shalt be visited of the Lord of hosts with thunder, with earthquake, with great noise, with storm, and tempest. That's the word, tempest. Okay, which means uh, epidemic plague or uh, bad weather. Okay, it says, and the flame of devouring fire. And the flame of devouring uh, fire. So I'm out in the open, if you can hear, you know, cars going by, uh, outdoor commotion, is, is that's the reason why. But... The heat, man, I'm standing out here, I'm under the shade now, but I mean, everywhere is super hot, man, I'm telling you, okay? But um, yeah, once again, uh, it, it is, it is, it, it, it could be the, to, to the point of a plague, man, because at the end of the day, we're living in end times and that's one of the plagues. The Lord is gonna judge the earth by fire, okay? So let's go to, um, let's get the book of, um, Second Ezra, the 16th chapter. Okay, Second Ezra, the 16th chapter, and we're going to jump in here at verse. Uh, we're going to we're going to jump in here at verse. I start at one. It says, uh, "Woe be unto you, Babylon and Asia! Woe be unto you, Egypt and Syria! Gird up your, yourselves with clothes of sack and hair, and bewail your children, and be sorry for your destruction is at hand. A sword is sent upon you, and." Who may turn it back? A fire is sent among you, and who may quench it? Fire has to do with heat, man. A tempest. It says plagues. There go the word. Plagues are sent unto you. Now, is not fire itself a plague? Now you have you have you have the use of fire. Uh, you have the use of fire, which you need fire to cook. You need fire to stay warm. You know. So fire has its purposes. Don't get me wrong, fire has its purposes. But it also is gonna be used as a plague, okay? To, 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 as a plague of, uh, 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 of judgment and end times. Because it was prophesied that it's gonna happen. It says, verse five, it says, I'm gonna read verse four again. It says, a fire is sent among you and who may quench it? All right, it's so hard outside right now. It, it almost feels like a fire, but you can imagine if, if it's so hot the way it is right now, you better stay on the right side of the Lord because you wouldn't want to feel what fire feel like, okay? It says, um, verse 5, Plagues are sent among you, and what is he that may drive them away? Okay, and one of those plagues is going to be the fire, the lake of fire, okay? It says, May any man drive away a hungry lion in the wood, or may anyone quench the fire in a stubble when it had begun to burn? May one turn again the arrow that is shot of a strong archer? The mighty Lord sended the plagues, 
And who is he that can drive them away? So the Lord is sending this. The Lord is turning this up. The Lord is in charge of all things. It's him who's sending the plagues. Okay? You get rain, the Lord sent it. You get heat, sun, the Lord sent it. Okay? All right? And these, as I said once, once before, these things have its uh, beautiful purposes. They give light to shine. Okay? They give difference between night and day, the moon, the sun, the stars. You know, to put lights in the firmament. These things have its purposes. But fire is going to be uh, used as a plague in end times. All right? It says, uh, verse 8 again, The mighty Lord sended the plagues, and who is he that can drive them away? Verse 9, it says, A fire shall go forth from his wrath, and who is he that may quench it? So the thing about it is this, all right? The sun is hot. Hot, 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 hot. Fire is hot. Hot, hot, hot. Sun of its purpose. Fire has its purpose. Okay? So, if it's hot, like, the way it is hot right now on the earth, you know? <laughs> like I said, people are already finding themselves in judgment because people dropping dead from the heat, from the sun. But the thing about it is, all right, the point of this lesson is you want to get right with the Lord. You want to get right with the Lord so you don't have to take part in the lake of fire because that's going to be something very, 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 very dramatic and painful. So it would, it would behoove you, it would behoove you to seek the Lord and to be on his right side when he returns. Okay? It would behoove you to seek the Lord and be on his right side when he returns. Okay? Because there is uh, such a thing called the second death, which is the lake of fire. You don't want to take part in that, man. Okay? You don't want to take part in that. So the scriptures say to turn to the Lord, man. The Lord, he, he's not going to keep his anger forever. The Lord say only acknowledge that you transgress against him. All right? The Lord say he's going to uh, give you passes according to his heart. In Jeremiah, the third chapter, the 15th verse. Okay? So Acts, Acts 3 uh, and 19 says, Repent ye therefore and be converted so that your sins may be blotted out when the time of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord. The point is for you to repent, man, so you don't take part in the lake of fire. Because those who don't, they're going to take part in the lake of fire, man. All right? I'm going to go from there. I'm going to go to the book of Ezekiel. This is Ezekiel, the, seven, uh, the 22nd chapter, and verse 17. It says, And the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, the house of Israel is, is to me become dross. All they are brass and tin and iron and lead in the midst of the furnace. They are even the dross of silver. Therefore, thus said the Lord, Right? Okay, so that is. Okay, the phone started to freeze a second. It says, uh, verse 19, Therefore said the Lord, because ye are all become dross, behold, therefore will I gather you into the midst of, the, of Jerusalem, into the midst of Jerusalem, as they gather silver and brass and iron and lead and tin into the midst of the furnace, to blow the fire upon it, to melt it, so will I gather you in mine anger and in my fury, and I will leave you there and melt you. You see, this is talking about the lake of fire, man. For those that, those that, uh, those that lost uh, or missed the opportunity, uh, the great spirit of, of liberty to seek the Lord and didn't seek Him. Once the famine of the word come in, man, and the elect is sealed. If you missed that opportunity to 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 have turned back to the Lord when you had grace to do so. Okay, if you not if you if you if you don't be judged or uh, 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 be destroyed by one of the sword uh, saw uh, judgments, okay, uh, 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 sword famine captivity, okay, and these different kind of things, if you don't be taken by one of those things, ultimately you're going to be taken by an ICBM missile, man, okay, because that's what's going to be used to create the lake of fire, uh, uh, contrary to popular belief, man, the lake of fire is not some some place under the earth with, where the devil is, okay? The devil is not under the earth, man. <laughs> the devil goes into uh, uh, people, man, okay? You have the spiritual, uh, the spiritual demon Satan, okay? And the heavenly realms, okay? And you have his minions, okay, that follow, that follow his instructions, okay? They're, they are called devils by definition of the word because devil only means uh, false accuser or slanderer, that's all. So if you go around being a false accuser or a slanderer, you're, you're a devil. That would, that's what makes you a devil, okay? But um, as I was saying, 
yeah, that's what's going to create the lake of fire, the ICBM missiles. As a matter of fact, um, let me uh, finish reading the rest of this and I'll go to it. It says, uh, verse 21, it says, Yea, I will gather you and blow upon you in the fire of my wrath, and ye shall be melted in the midst thereof. As silver is melted in the midst of the furnace, so shall ye be melted in the midst thereof, and ye shall know that I, the Lord, have power have poured out my Salakia has poured out my fury upon you. See? It's the Lord who's doing it, man. Okay? So at the end of the day you need to get right with the Lord. Okay? Turn to the Lord and seek him, man. Or not. If you don't do so, it is a judgment. Okay? But scripture says he that have an heir, let him hear. If this is for you, you're gonna get it. Okay? So as I was saying the scripture I had mentioned, uh, let's go to it. All right, because this is what's going to create the lake of fire. It says, um, this is uh, Second Ezra, the 16th chapter. We'll jump down to the uh, 13th verse. It says, for strong is his right hand that bendeth the bow. His arrows that he shooteth are sharp, okay, and shall not miss when they begin to be shot into the ends of the world. So a regular arrow cannot go from continent to continent, okay? This is talking about ICBM misses, man, what, what is called... Uh, uh, intercontinental ballistic missiles man that's what's going to create the lake of fire man all right during world war three which is prophesied also in the scriptures okay all right that's what's going to create the lake of fire man and it's going to destroy babylon man okay the daughter of babylon all right aka america that's in the that's in that's that's in the scripture man okay all right it's another scripture that comes to mind uh if i could get that real quick um uh, the book of uh, uh, what it is um, uh, Isaiah the 14th chapter it is Isaiah the 14th chapter I believe um, Isaiah chapter 14 verse 23 Isaiah chapter 14 and verse 23. It says, I will also make it a possession for the bittern, for the bittern and pools of water, and I will sweep it with the besom of destruction, said the Lord of hosts. Now, a besom is a sweeping agent, like a broom. Okay? The Lord says he's going to sweep it, meaning he's going to sweep it with fire. The fire is going to be from one end onto the other. Okay? So that's what the that's what the the apostle uh, 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 John, John the Revelator, our uh, forefather John the Revelator, when he got those revelations in the Isles of Patmos, okay, when he got, he, he saw a bird's eye view, okay, of the daughter of Babylon on fire. Thus, we have the lake of fire, okay, but that's what's going to create the lake of fire, those ICBM missiles, man. So, you need to repent and turn back to the Lord. If you can't stand the heat on the earth right now, what make you think you'll be able to, to, to withstand it when it's actual fire, okay? So, I'm going to get another scripture and we're going to close out. This is the book of, um, the book of Revelation. Alright, Revelation, uh, Revelation, the 20th chapter and um, the 14th verse. It says, and death and hell were cast into the lake of fire. And that's how you know that, that, that hell doctrine is a false doctrine. Okay, hell, hell just means pit or grave okay or sometimes it can be referred to as a condition as Jonah uh, was in the, the belly of the whale he said he was in hell because it's a condition also but it's truly talking about the grave or pit okay but this scripture says death and hell were cast into the lake of fire okay so how can hell be cast into the lake of fire you see showing you that it doesn't it doesn't fit see two two and two two plus two equals four Okay, the Hebrew word for truth is amath. So if it's not true, then it's not, it's, it don't make any sense. You're not going to be burning in, in eternal fire, uh, okay, underneath the earth somewhere. No, that, that's, a, that's a myth. That's a fable. Okay, all right. Hell is just the pit or the grave. All right. Um, this is the point for verse 15. It says, whosoever was not written in the book of life, right? So if you didn't repent, you didn't turn to the Lord, you didn't sought the Lord, or you wasn't predestinated from the foundation of the earth to see salvation, 
It says, And whosoever were, were not found written in the book of life was cast into the lake of fire. Now, you know the lake of fire. <clears throat> All right? Once again, it's going to be created by those ICB and Mrs. Men. Okay? And that's going to bring destruction to the daughter of Babylon. All right? So, yeah, once again, this lesson was, was inspired by the heat. Okay? Outside, man, it's so hot. Super hot. Man, I was just inspired through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shemesh to go into a lesson real quick. With that, hope you are edified. On to the next one. Shalom.